Good morning, oil traders. It is October 3rd at 9.22 a.m. here on the East Coast. It's Tuesday and uh, we're a little bit down. Uh, we closed yesterday at about 50.50-ish uh, 50, 50 and uh, we're about uh, 15 or so cents down at the moment and it looks like we might end up opening a few cents down from yesterday's close but nothing too remarkable. Um, as you know yesterday I had bought a long um, anticipating a bounce which we did get, we got the bounce, uh, but I didn't manage to get my target price of 50.75 to sell that long on the bounce. Uh, we never actually got higher than 50.63 and uh, this morning on uh, the markets open in Asia we actually made a little bit higher at 50.66, literally three cents higher. Uh, but still shy of my target of 50.75. Um, honestly, I would be happy to take 50.66. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to have to be patient today and uh, wait for some settling in the trading uh, to see whether or not we go actually even higher than that. Um, if we do go higher, of course, I'll, I'll be taking the profit on that long position and repurchasing some shorts as we get closer to 51 again. Um, that's if we go up, of course. <laughs> if we go down, um, then you know, so be it. I got that long and I'll be sitting on it. Um, but I will be selling more shorts as we descend below $50 crude price. Um, similarly, as I sell off more shorts, I'll be purchasing more longs um, in anticipation of that reversal, um, temporary or otherwise. Um, that's my game plan. Um, but I think I'm going to have to be patient because we might see a big swing um, and I just want to make sure that I don't trade on a false top or bottom. Um, and we've got API news uh, today after markets close here on the East Coast at 4.30 p.m. Um, yesterday they were spot on with their anticipated call of a draw. It was a small draw, but EIA did confirm it. Um, and uh, so they've got a little bit of credibility going into this week's announcement. So we'll see what that turns out to be. Um, like I said, that's at 4.30, so that's 30 minutes after the markets close for us here on the East Coast of North America. What do you guys plan on doing? Um, how are you feeling about what we're seeing right now? Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc., etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after the markets close or at around market close at around 4 p.m. Eastern time here. And until then, good luck. Cheers.